Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and we're carrying on painting our z think, zombie side survivor figure, Amy. This is what we've got so far. I think what I'm going to have to do is go over the stockings a little bit more just to bring them out a bit. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> let's start then, shall we? We're going to begin with Abaddon Black again. Um, I've had to clean my palette out because um, I forgot to put the lid on. It dried out a little bit. So we want black. And that is going to be. Oh! The make we're going to be using just to go over the. Do another coat of the skirt. It's not quite as what as I'd like it to be. And I've seen uh, on one of my other. <coughs> I think it was on the last video um, that I was going to look at doing the uh, bag in a brown colour. I've changed my mind from that because I've seen a photograph of um, Abby, the character this is based on from NCIS, and she's got a bright red bag. <coughs> now, I don't want to do bright red. I'm going to go with the colour that she... <coughs> Excuse me, it's got the tickles. I'm going to go with the purple colour to match the, the base colour that she actually was. So I'm going to give her a purple bag. Which I think might be the better option. There we go. And there's still bits of a skirt at the back here that need doing as well. Where some of the paint has rubbed off. Well, not necessarily rubbed off, but hasn't covered. what that's supposed to be whether it's a, a bag or what but I'm going to do that black as well it looks a little bit odd So that's the black bit on the survivor, Amy. I think finished now. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more black for the time being. Um, I will be using black, more black on, but it will be um, brightened up a little bit, greyed up a little bit, uh, just to go along with the highlighting procedure. Do we need to do anything with uh, Zombiver Amy? Well, we need to just edge highlight some of the holes in the st holes in the stockings. We need to darken up the top hem. of the stocking. You know when I said earlier that 
don't think there will be any more black put on the model while there is. I forgot there's a lipstick. <coughs> and her eyeshadow. Hmm. Now what can we use? I'm going to use Empress Children. I'm going to pop a little bit of that on our palette. I'm also going to use, if I can find it, where has it gone? Jean Steeler Purple. And I'm going to mix these two colours together to make give us the colour of the backpack. And as you can see, I'm not um, taking a lot of the Jean Steeler Purple out of the because I'm not going to be using much of this so I'm just going to take it straight from the in fact I think I'd better take more than I need and just add the pink the Empress Children to it so I can build up a, a bit more than I actually want there we go And as I said in the first video, i probably said in a few videos, very, very watered paint. Um, I'm aiming for building up the layers rather than trying to get one layer done and cut corners. And I'm hoping it's a little bit lighter. How would that be? Mm. Not quite as. So I was just checking to see what colour it was. It's not quite as dark as the uh, the base, but it will do the job. <coughs> okay, so that's that bit done. Now what we're going to be doing is using, <coughs> now, I, now I said I wanted the uh, face being fairly pale, but we still need to add some shadows to it. And I'm going to be using Reikland Flesh Shade, I've not used this one before, this is a new one for me. Now this I'm going to add in Oh, I'm not going to do a full wash like I usually do. This is going to be just areas where I think there's going to be shadows. So, I think we can give her arms a wash of this because her arms wouldn't have the same makeup. as uh, her face would have but still I'm not going to go too heavy with this I want it building up mainly the crease of a clothes and just building up well bring up any muscle detail um, and stuff like that. And there's not a lot of, in fact, I think I will go over her face. 
because it will give me an idea of work all the details actually are and there is a stray hair on that I'm going to have to try and get rid of ok so that's So you can try and get rid of this my hair, I think it has gone yeah ok so that's the Reikland Flesh Shade for the Zombie uh, colour I'm going to be using a very thin Kelia green shade with this and um, because we want it more greeny coloured than I think so I'm going to put some on my palette and get it quite watery before I start putting it over as I said we will be coming back and adding more um, highlights to the model, I just want to build up um, the shadows, shadow areas. Of the skin. As I don't want this to be flesh coloured because this is the zombie version so we're looking towards more zombies, zombie colored skin than anything else And that's that done. Next what I want to do is using Carolberg Crimson again a wash when I can find it. I seem to be finding anything but the one I want. There we are. I'm going to go over the pink on her blouse with this. A, a reddish colour and so this is just basically to add the shadows I will be going over again with pink a little bit later And uh, once I've done this, we're going to have to allow it to dry before we can continue. I'm not going over the bag, I'm going to go over that with the um, Druchar Violets to darken that one down. But these are definitely being done with that colour. Next, what I'm going to be doing is, as I said, the Druchar Violets on the <coughs> <coughs> on the backpack. Oh, I haven't done the the blouse on the zombie zombie. Well, I've got a little bit of 
this left on my palette so I'll just hopefully get as much as I can So once that has been, you'll just notice that that's not actually been touched. So I'm going to go over this bit at the back with just straight Carabur Crimson. Like so just to darken it completely. that bit done and now as I say the bag with the Druchar Violets before I then go over to her again the little pigtails with um, the black because I've managed to pull the paint off again this bag that's going to give it the colour to identify which colour she actually is there we are now while I'm waiting for that to dry what we can do what I'm going to do now is put my brush away <coughs> as I said I'm going to go over her pigtails here well, not pigtails but I don't know what they call them I'll go over that and then using Dawnstone no sorry Iron Breaker which is that one Use onion breaker on this, and we'll do the the blade. Like so. I'm just going to have to go that way. And the pommel. Also do the the barrel of the gun. Um, is there anything else that needs doing with this? I'll go over. Her collar. See, yes, there are the studded belt that she's got, and that I think is that for the time being. Next, what I'm going to get is <coughs> oh, I'm saying that's what I'm going to get. Next, what I'm going to get is uh, the Zombiver version. 
and that is going to be what do the studded collar around the neck and I think that is it no it's not, we've got a couple of we've got a belt there I just need touching and that I think is about it next what we're going to get is um, bit of skull white, sorry white skirt as it is now, which is that one, <coughs> get some of that on our palette, pull that there, and we'll get a touch of the black, grey that down, get a touch more of the black, Grey that down a bit more, touch more of the black. And grey it down a bit more. And with this we're going to be going over the highlights on the jacket. gloves I'm just seeing another brace another a bracelet there which is studded I need to do a lot more black in that because it's there's too much of a contrast Try and get the boots highlighted as well. Oops, got the dropsies. character
a little more white. <coughs> and here we have I was putting it on and wiping it off and what I will be doing in a second is going over on the black areas with null and oil it will bring everything together go down the highlights and <coughs> what's the word I'm looking for um it'll done dull down the highlights and um and um, it won't do something else completely as well. Mm. Oh yeah, it'll increase the shadows. That's the word. I was, that's what I wanted to say. So we'll Now I'm not putting any of this on the stockings, because I don't want that to be too dark. What I'm looking for is just the the depth in the shadows and just dulling down some of the um, <coughs> the highlights that we've put in. Coming back to a face momentarily. <coughs> I'm also going to put some of this over the gun barrel. Because now I can see the face on these with the shadows uh, drawn up the details. Um, what I can actually do now is, shall we say, apply the makeup. Because let's face it, what kind of self-respecting goth is she if she doesn't have stark black or purple lipstick and black or purple eyeshadow I remember those days well yes Mm. 
Okay. So that's everything washed <coughs> and the second coat put on. So hopefully now when we come back we can concentrate on the highlights and then I'll be well we finished. One thing I do want to do though, I always say I like putting a little bit of red in the um, in the mix. So I'm going to use on the handle of the sword or the containers a little bit of Wasdaka red. You know that's uh, from different all the tutorials I've done recently, namely the um, what should we call it? The uh, Asterian Forces for Dead Zone. And I'm just going to apply some like so. There's not much on that figure, but there is a little bit more on this one because she's not holding this katana with two hands. Here she's just holding it with the one hand, and all I can see is I can actually see the um, the handle a lot better. So. handle for the katana done. <coughs> so once we come back next we will be applying the finished highlights to the skin. Uh, paling her down quite a bit. But uh, she's not looking too bad is she? Right, so that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.